Okay, so in this question, it's a Pythagorean theorem question, and I know that because this is a right triangle, and I know that because we have a right angle right here. That shape denotes a right angle, and any triangle with a right angle in it is a right triangle. So here, that means in this triangle, um, a squared plus b squared needs to equal c squared. And what that really means, of course, is that a squared is this leg as a square. So a squared, which is 5 by 5, right? This is That's how big this is. I'm making a square out of it. And then b squared is the other leg. So we square both legs, so 7 by 7. That has to equal, because it's a right triangle, the hypotenuse square. So that's that's c square. So we have a square, b square, and c square. We just we don't know the area of c square, but we want to find out how long this side of the square is. So again, what this means, a square means we take one leg and we square it, which means for this side it's leg times a leg. <laughs> well, excuse me, plus b square, which is this square right here, and that's a leg times a leg. So on a right triangle, you take one leg, you multiply it by itself, and get a leg square. And you multiply the other leg by itself, and get another leg square. And then you add them up, and that will have to equal the area of the hypotenuse square. That's this big square over here. So the hypotenuse, hypotenuse square. And uh, how I'm going to figure this out in this problem is, well, one leg squared, a square is 5 times 5, or 5 squared, b squared is 7 times 7, or 7 squared, and c squared, the hypotenuse, is unknown. So we have 49 and 25, right? Because 7 squared is 7 times 7, and 5 squared is 5 times 5. That's 49 plus 25, which, if you add them up, I think of, of 50 plus 25, but that's a little bit too big. So this is 74, because that's one too big. So, again, 49 plus 25, that equals c square. Now c square is this the area of this square with each side length of c, or the hypotenuse. We want to know, well, how long does one side equal? This goes back to a basic idea in squares and square roots. Let's say the area of this square is 100. Well, how long is each side? Well, that means each side is 10, right? Because 10 times 10 gives you the area of 100. And a short way of thinking about this is to find the square root of 100. That means what number times itself gives you 100, and the answer is 10. Now in this problem, we take the square root of 74. And the question asks, I cut it off, it says, but, but between what, what two whole numbers is the length of the hypotenuse of this right triangle? Well, notice that 8 squared, which is 8 times 8, that's 64. Well, we want to get 74, right? This is asking what number squared gives 74. So then try the next whole number. Well, 9 squared is 81, and 81 is larger than 74. So the square root of 74 is smaller than, than 9, because 9 squared is 81. And the square root of 74 is bigger than 8, because 8 squared is 64. So on a number line, uh, the square root of 74 is somewhere between 8 and 9. And in fact, I would say it's a little bit closer to 9, because 74 is closer to, to 9 squared than, than 8 squared. So it's between 8 and 9. So in this problem, they want to know, if, if you estimate the hypotenuse, what two whole numbers is it between? Well, it's between 8 and 9. Alright, hope that helped.